adrenal gland into our bloodstream. Our muscles contract, arteries constrict, the heart pumps faster, and our blood pressure hits the roof. We evolved the fight or flight reflex to quickly respond to attacks from predators. To have the reflex triggering so constantly causes irreparable harm to our cardiovascular network. Stress accelerates the aging of our blood vessels. High blood pressure damages cells in the artery walls. They become stiff and thick. Especially here in the biggest artery, the aorta. Arteries with stiff walls restrict blood flow. As our blood pressure rises, the heart is forced to work harder. It's a vicious cycle. The more stressed we get, the more we damage our blood vessels. And the more we damage our blood vessels, the less we're able to deal with the effects of stress. If the problem gets out of control, the heart becomes enlarged as it struggles to force blood through our narrow, less elastic blood vessels. High blood pressure can even rupture blood vessels in the brain. A stroke. Most of us learn to manage stress. But for women in their 50s, another factor compounds the problem, menopause. In her 50s, a woman's ovaries stop releasing eggs. They also stop producing the sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone, which signals the end of a woman's reproductive life. As the supply of hormones winds down, it destabilizes the regions of the brain that deal with mood, sleep, and temperature control. When the hypothalamus is thrown off course, hot flashes occur, moments when the body can't set its thermostat correctly. and muscle tissues weaken. The woman's body has spent its whole life getting accustomed to these hormones. Now they're gone, and the aging process accelerates. Our 60s come and go. Our kids leave home, and we leave work we enter a new phase of life, old age. In 70 years, we've grown from a tiny baby to an adult, from child to parent to grandparent. The aging process began several decades ago. Now, we're in the grip of old age. It's the final chapter in the journey of life. When we retire from work, we gain a slower lifestyle and our bodies slow down. 
the outward signs of aging are only the beginning. Aging also dramatically affects our skeletons. Any of us could be at risk for osteoporosis. Our bone cells are still hard at work, destroying old bone and replacing it with new. But old age upsets this balance. Osteoclasts destroy the bone faster than osteoblasts can rebuild it. What remains is a hollowed out cluster of brittle bone fibers. Our bones slowly crumble as the years slide by. Broken bones become a very real danger. It can happen to men and women alike. But the process is faster in women because of the hormonal changes of menopause. The aging process is one of the great mysteries of life. Why does our appearance change so much between the ages of 40 and 70? It's more than wear and tear. It's a process affecting every cell in our bodies. Every day, cells clone themselves into billions to battle wear and tear on our organs. The DNA inside each cell gets copied the old cells die off and the new ones take their place. But the copying system isn't perfect. Any imperfections in our DNA are also duplicated. Over a lifetime, we make so many copies of ourselves that even the tiniest defects accumulate. It's like using a photocopier. Copies made from copies degrade in quality. We have totally replaced the bone in our face every 10 years since we were born. Our 70-year-old face is a seventh generation copy of our baby face. The imperfections are exaggerated with each copy. Another reason for aging could be the air that we breathe. We need oxygen to live, but throughout our lives, it slowly poisons us. Inside each of our cells, our mitochondria are like tiny power plants, combining food with oxygen. They create the energy we need, but just like a power plant, they also generate pollution. In this case, the pollutant is oxygen. The mitochondria change the molecules into unstable forms called free radicals.
Over a lifetime, free radicals slowly suffocate the mitochondria and damage our cells. Our cells and DNA become more and more damaged. Repair systems fail. Imperfections accumulate. Eventually, our organs fail. Even with a healthy lifestyle and the best medicine, death is unavoidable. Our DNA makes us what we are and guides our development, but it also determines how long we live. Every time one of our cells copies itself, it loses a tiny piece from the end of the DNA. After billions of cell divisions, the end section is gone. Our cells can't divide anymore. Death, like life, is a biological process. Scientists believe that near the moment of death, our bloodstream is flooded with endorphins, the body's natural painkillers. Now, starved of oxygen, tissues can't function. Within 10 seconds, the brain's electrical activity drops. Hearing is the last sense to go. It can take 24 hours for our skin cells to stop dividing. Its final impulse. There's a saying that life goes on. For some of us, it could go on for some time. Thanks to modern medicine, children born in the US today can expect to live to celebrate their 77th birthday and beyond. Even when we're gone, we live on through our loved ones. Our children and their children carry our genes in every cell. They carry memories of us too, the moments they've shared from our extraordinary story. All journeys must come to an end. But what a journey it's been.